Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Dark Souls 2. We're in front of a boss door, so I'm going to use the Flame Quartz Ring plus 3, and also equip myself with Dark Pine Resin. I'll use that. And then hope for the best. It's Smelter Demon again. But he's freaking blue, because this is in the past. And now he exudes flame, so I can't get too close to him or I'll get hurt a little bit. Which is frustrating because I'm a melee character. I have to get close to him. Look at that. You can see me taking a little bit of contact damage. It really sucks. That's enough. Look at that. I'm, I'm halfway dead, and all I did was rub my face up against him. He didn't even hit me. And now he's really dangerous because his sword swings deal flame damage too. So I gotta be super careful, and I gotta fight him quickly. Because I can't last against this. Like, look at this. My health's already near half, and he hasn't even done anything. Now I heal. If he'll let me. He will. What a nice smelter demon, I guess. And now I get way far away. Alright. I'm dead now. Oh, wow. I should have died. I might actually have this. I wasn't sure if he was going to stay kneeling. That can be a scary attack. I'll just get away from him now. I'm gonna die. From the stupidest possible way. Oh wow, he was kind. Thank god, that was actually scary. Oh man. Smelter Demon Soul. And a bunch of souls. Oh, man. And to think this was an optional boss. Soul the Smelter Demon that haunts the castle that sunk into a pool of iron. The old Iron King's life was taken by a mass of iron that had been given a soul. Was this metal Goliath there, or Goliath, there from the beginning, or was it a product of the king's conceit? I think this might actually get me something different from what the original Smelter Demon's Soul did, but even if it doesn't, like, even if it's an alternate thing I can use, like the regular soul, I'm okay with that. Here we go. A Pharos Mask. This looks like the old man mask from, um, Pinwheel, from Dark Souls 1. A mask depicting Pharos's contraption. Tears flow from the eyes of this mask, drenching its wearer. The majority of Pharos's creations are perplexing to reasoned men, and this mask is no exception. Okay, I guess. Alright, well there goes the entirely optional boss of this dungeon, because... Other than the Pharos mask, I didn't get anything unique from this, which is kind of funny. Like, the, the goal was the boss. And now if I drop down, like, we're back. That's it. What I'm going to do now is retreat to the bonfire to drop off some stuff, and I'm going to level up, because this is a lot of souls. That's, that's it for the old Iron Passage. That's all it had. Now all that's left to do is just beat Bloom Tower. Bearer and 
Alright, leveling time. I sure would like to be able to quick roll. Wouldn't that be cool? God, it is just never gonna happen. Oh yeah, wait. The Smelter Demon Soul. You know what? Let me take a look at something. I think it is just another Smelter Demon Soul, which is unfortunate. But... Smelter Sword. I believe that I got that from Strayed, so let's let's take a look at uh, what Ornifex can give us. I didn't think I'd be going here right now, but it is what it is. We can get the other Smelter Demon Soul item, I guess. First, let's kill these disgusting spiders. For God's sake. As a bunch of their friends come out, and it's super gross. And he almost kills me, because this is a surprisingly difficult spider. I love how I almost died just from that. But we made it through. Oh, have I come here enough that the wizards are dead? Thank god. I forgot about that. Right, but these spiders are here, but it's not a big deal. Ugh, these hopping spiders are pretty awful. They really are. Alright. That was fun. Okay, nothing else is coming. So, what can you do with this Melder Demon Soul? Aged Smelter Sword. Ultra great sword crafted from the soul of the Smelter Demon. Its blade is imbued with a great flame. Use strong attack to unleash its latent power. When the old king acquired the power to grant life to heaps of iron, he molded a great array of metallic automatons. The iron monstrosity itself was perhaps one of the king's puppets. Jeez. That's a lot of stat boosts, though. That's a lot. That is a lot of elemental damage. That's actually some pretty serious business. Like, elemental boosts everywhere. Oh my god, that thing's awesome! Well, it swings just like the Smelter Demon did, but... Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool. I like it. I like that a lot, actually. That's really cool. Alright. So now I'll get rid of my access and then go back into the Iron King DLC to complete it. Wouldn't that be great? So let's drop off Twilight Herb, Herb, Crimson Water, Root, Spice, Cracked Red Eye Orb, Weapons I Don't Need, Hood, mask, mask. Yeah, I think we're good. Actually, let's go to Majul and see if I can level up at all. Alright, let's use some souls here. Let's consume. That was pathetic. This is actually uh, less impressive than I thought it would be. Uh, man, that costs. It does. I have a little under 10,000 souls left. That is disappointing. It really is. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god, but that was just enough. I mean, not with the bow, but just enough. So under 70% is what I want, and this takes me to 72%. 
Okay. I would need to be able to hold, like, about three more pounds or whatever the unit is. What does the next vitality level up give me? Oh, it just doesn't. I have to level up twice for it to count now? Oh, my God. That's so painful. That's so painful. I might just have to equip my bow when I feel like having it equipped. But th this will do. This will do. However, let's also check out McDuff's place. Ah, oh, finally. I can actually dodge worth a damn now. And now that we're here... Let's reinforce that... Yeah, that sound to your spear. How much does it cost? Oh, it's kind of expensive, actually. I can't bring it to level 5, but... It will go up to 350 attack? Are you kidding me? It's at 326 right now? What, what am I at? 340 with this thing? Damn. That spear's actually serious business. But it swings really slowly like an axe. That's the disadvantage. Still, though, I want it so I can break it. Anyway, back to... Yeah, back to Broom Tower. Let's go to the foyer. Alright, now that we're here, we're gonna go low again. So I actually could have picked up right where I left off on the Smelter Demon, but I had to spend those souls. I just need a little more Twinkling Titanite. I'm so close. Anyway, let's go around. I'm looking for some chains. There we go. As you can see, we can go even lower. Can I reach that? Oh, that was bad. We can go quite low. There's stuff down there. Damn. Okay. Okay, that's about perfect timing. Yeah, then there's this. Good. Where does this take me? There's a chest. Strength ring. An oddly deformed iron ring increases the strength of its wearer. The old Iron King ruled over a great age of iron. We've already read this. Yeah. It increases my strength, though. That's weird. My current strength is what? Sixty-seven. Seventy-two. It's plus five. Damn. That okay? Wow. Why? Why not? The hell are you? Oh, it's the regular axe demon, but with the flaming axe. And I just missed killing him. Whoops. Well, just so long as nobody was behind me. This is weird, so it's just falling? Oh, so you are alive. Oh, you're a different one, I guess. Good thing this guy's an idiot. I gotta watch out for his flame damage, but... Never mind, forget flame damage, we're done. What? Okay. Oh, wow. That was startling. But, we recovered. Yeah, that hole would have been bad. 
I can fall down there. Or down there. Two goons. And this guy's in just the right position to ruin my my own position. That went about as well as it could have. These guys are idiots. Partisan plus six. This game is just giving me super weapons. Or this particular DLC, I guess. A spear with a broad blade. The blade is widened and give an extra weight to allow for slashing. The broader attacks of the partisan, however, make it less effective in narrow spaces. Yeah, but that thing is really good. Okay. That's too far. That's also too far. Wow, this sucks. Am I just stuck with this? Oh, damn it. This is gonna cost me my arrows. I am actually running out of arrows on these guys. Oh, that's where that flaming axe guy went? There, now he's actually dead. That's kind of funny. I have no problem cheesing this guy because fighting him is going to be more trouble than it's worth. Especially after falling to the point where it will hurt. I feel so lame doing this though. You can't even really see my results because I'm right up in your grill. Taking up the camera view here. Uh, and I think there was another guy with an axe too. This guy learn how to dodge. Now he's just gonna stay there. He wasted one of my arrows though, so now I'm mad. He's just looking at me like, damn, I don't know what to do. That certainly feels better. I actually don't see another enemy down there, which is good. I hope that's the case. Alright, let's do this. Let's go back to uh, Silver Cat. I hope this fall won't hurt too badly. Actually, there's no way I'm landing on that. I don't know. I don't know. No, I got it. Cool, alright. The game was a little kind. Okay. Did it. Feels good. By the way, six of these things down, four to go, and I think I get a drop for one somewhere, so that's fine. Ghost. It looks like I should be able to go down there. What the hell? Oh no. It's an unkillable. That's a problem. This guy I can kill, but those ghosts... I was really hoping the ghost would not follow me in here. That's not good. This is actually not good. As long as I can at least take the warrior out. That hurt. Let's do this. Almost shot me. 
And if the ghosts follow me, even if they die from the fall, they'll still get back up, so I'm super not into this. And there's a mist door. I think I might have this. What the hell am I looking at? Or are those the Ashen Idols? Okay. I better deal with these now. Smelter wedge, please. That was close. Alright, good. That should be one of those down. Alright, I'll just kill this guy if I can. I think those are the kinds of idols that heal, so I, I super want that dead. For, I think, obvious reasons. One of these giants was enough of a pain in the ass before. I deserve that. Good. No distractions. This is one of those cases where that's a boss room, and these idols will heal the boss. So I cannot allow them to exist. Seven. Again, let's just get on this. That is way too close. And yep, that's a healing idol, alright. Good thing it's gone. Ugh, I thought I blocked. Guess I didn't. I would really prefer not to die to this chump. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Damn. Okay, anyway. Eight. That scared me. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? A bonfire? Don't mind if I do. I don't care if I respawn the giants. Lowermost floor. Cool. Got it. The giants are back, but who cares? And it looks like there's a dead end anyway. So, yeah, here you are. Too bad, but... That is such a strong weapon. Look at that thing. Alright, there, you're gone. Like I said, no distractions. Titanite chunk times three, nice. Wow, thanks game. Thanks for giving me that opportunity to hit him when he was spawning. I love it. Any time, pal, jeez. Nicked me a little bit. By the way, I love how it took me this long to realize that the the flames come out of alternating shoulders. So I should favor his right side if he already just shot flames from his right side and his left of his left. Embarrassing. I don't know if there's another giant here, but if there is, at least I'm not letting him get close. Mm 
Nein. Ten. That's all my wedges. I feel better already. Soul of a Brave Warrior. That is a relief. That's that's all of my smelter wedges. I believe there's only one more piece of the soul left. Yeah, still only a fragment, right? This ought to be good. Also, I think the, uh, the cursed enemies will no longer be cursed now that I took these things out, but... More importantly, I have this business to deal with. No smelter idols, they're gone. Thank God. But this is the true boss of the DLC. Just like Sin, just gets up from the ground. This thing looks serious, too. Fume Knight. Actually, he kind of reminds me of Artorias. Oh my god. That is some stamina damage. At least it's not on freaking fire. I'm done with that. Oh, I see. Alright, I gotta favor his other side. One? No, that's just different. I get, wow, I really gotta learn his patterns. There you go. Yeah, I, I dodged to the wrong side, again. Whoa, okay, buddy. Oh, that really hurt. I gotta get him to do a big sweep attack. Kind of like that, except for when I can have time to heal. I like that his small sword is still huge. Whammo. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really getting an oppor- Okay. Getting an opportunity to heal is what I was going to say. Interesting. Well, this guy, this guy is kind of cool. But you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go back to the previous bonfire and kill the uh, the other enemies that were there. No, I don't even need to do that. I'll go back up from this bonfire. He was slowing down my movement dramatically. And here we go. Let's go back the way I came. They won't follow me here. They can't. I had sent the elevator up because if I died, I'd have to go back down it. But there's a freaking bonfire just down here, so it looks like that plan backfired. Also, why are you hurt? What happened? Did your shoulder armor hurt the other guy? And you can come in here? I really didn't think you could fit. Obviously, you don't want to come here, but you can? Huh. Okay. Anyway, going up. The enemies should be killable now. Why the hell am I going back when I just saw the freaking boss of the DLC? I'll show you in a moment. Yeah, he looks normal now. Archer? What archer? There's this little area I didn't check earlier. Sorcery Clutch Ring. That sounds pretty good. Ring depicting a hand grasping a stone. Yeah, both of these. Increases magic attack, but reduces physical defense. Okay. Cool. Ah, what the hell. I'll just use the... the feather. And just go right back to the Fume Knife fight. Hey! All right, 
right, in we go. Oh, good, and my my uh, my souls are on him. Fantastic. Two-handed this time, baby. I don't know how much of a difference it made, but all right. Okay, let's do this. Whammo. Less good. He's a fast one. It's quite the leap. Even though I keep tanking his Ultra Great Sword, that, that's fine as long as I can block it. That is some sweep. I tagged him. I deserve that, I guess. Healing time. Yes. I never quite know when I can get away with a good heal. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did it. Okay, let's get back into the game. I don't know, man. I'll just be over here. I don't know what you want from me. I want a good opportunity to get in there. I, I really can't get away with the combo. Okay. I'll... Whoa! Oh, damn. It's the Smelter Demon again. I can't block him forever now. Are you serious? That's like a laughable attack. That just did insane damage through my shield. And now I guess I'm dead, so that's fine. I didn't stand a chance. All right, I'm back as a human. Turns out there's a summon. Steelheart Ellie again. Hooray! So we'll see how this works. Okay, in we go. I hope I don't die. Oh, we got Steelheart Ellie. There's apparently another summon right here, which I appreciate. Carhelion of the Fold. I don't even know who you are. And I don't see anything out there, so okay. But I have two helpers against the Fume Knight, so I'll take that. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, we're in. I have a little time to go in before they come in. It's only when I approach the sword that it matters. And now let's try to not die. Hey, teamwork. Let's see how they fare. So far, not well. Cool, thanks. I love it. I love how even when he's going after them and I get him from behind, he still has an insanely large sweep with his heavy sword, so I can't be too careful. They are distracting him, though, so I'll, I'll grant them that. Look at that sweep. Ridiculous. And I'm doing, like, no damage. Does he have more health because I have friends? I hope that's not how this is working, because that would be very disappointing. I hate when that happens. It's like, what's even the point of summoning these jokers? Look at that. He still caught me in the backswing. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, they actually uh, took him out of a, an animation. Alright, we're at half. 
and so is Carmelian. Okay, I'll be over here. Whoa, damn. Oh, my friends are dead. This is this is not good. He just took him out. Damn. Ugh, and that sword is such stupidly powerful damage when he uh, powered it up. It's all flaming now. Ellie, you do your thing, all right? Oh, nope. That, oh man, that that is not good. He's really laying on the damage. I mean, I kind of am. Ellie is going to die, and then you know what's going to happen after that? I am going to die. I'm dead now. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead because he's not going to... Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Without NPC help, so I can actually deal damage to the guy. There's an idea. And that's enough of that. Goodbye. Crash. Well, see ya, buddy. Aha! I do not want to get hit by that. Even though he just kind of flicked that sword, it really hurts. It even does chip. I think it does chip. And I love how he does it with both swords, too. That, that was that one. One hit is enough for all these. The problem is I'm going to have to lay on a lot more damage on phase two. Because he'll start dealing fire and dark damage. And I can't block that. Like, I'll take a lot of chip. Ah, God, here it comes. I really need to remember that rolling exists. A oh, whoop, goodbye. Ugh. It is miraculous that I avoided that one. See, the problem is, if he hits me directly with that sword, I'm just kind of dead. Like, I need to... Oh, I really need to ask this, actually. This is bad. It, that attack is devastating. I really... Like, I can't even block that attack. I don't want to. It's a disaster. This, ugh, this is such a scary fight. Like, this is an actually scary fight. Because he could ruin my day at any time. I'm going to have to heal soon. Because again, if he ever actually properly connects with that sword, he deals almost all of my health. In fact, if he does that super attack, that the big swing, then I'm just dead. God damn. Look at this guy. No mercy. I'm dead. Oh, wow. I cannot believe I got away with that, but I'm still likely to die. That's the problem. There's the lunge. I need stamina now. Good. Oh, whoops. Oh, dude. Oh, that's a problem. I gotta play this really carefully now. I kind of almost have this. Oh man, that took so many tries. I am proud of myself. Oh my god, Soul of the Fume Knight and Soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash, baby. Let me tell you something. I was looking up uh, a wiki for how to fight this guy, and it says, according to From Software's data, this is the hardest boss in the game. 
the way I finally ended up beating him was rolling into him. Because tanking did not work. It did not. It did not work. Okay. I can't really equip four rings or I lose my roll, which is a little unfortunate. What was my fourth? Oh, it was the, the covetous. Yeah, I'm just a little heavy. Like, the strength ring pushes me just over the edge just a little bit. But, okay, we got him. That was a pain in the ass. And now we go in and... Crown of the Old Iron King. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Crown of the old Iron King who once ruled this land. The king sunk below the scorching iron, met the one whose name must never be repeated, and became Icarus Earth. But these were events of long ago, and today, no one even remembers the king's name. Yeah, it looks like one of the Ashen Idols. Well, now we got a couple things to do. Man, what a fight. I'll be lazy and I'll just teleport. 